Francis Silos, um, well, Francis Silos also, and his desire to be a priest, uh, came to the Americas and, and was ordained here and came to the Redemptorist. He was just a simple, quiet man um, who was actually too kind. Um, his story is that he was just too kind of a person. Um, he, he was actually reprimanded by when he was the prefect of students for being too kind. Um, he was gentle, loving, uh, went out of his way to, he, he was tireless. He was tireless in his effort because he believed the relationship that he had with Jesus, as, as far as I understand it, was something that had to be shared. And it didn't matter how tired he was, he had to share that message with people. And, and that burning desire is, is something I think that we could learn from today. It's like, what, what do saints learn in this relationship? Like, what, what is that? We, I think we want to just um, have the, you know, in, North, in the North American context, we want to take a pill, I want to do a program, give me five steps, and I want to be there. Well, no, these guys took time to work at that. They had to, to go out and do an act of charity, but they also had to spend time to pray. Um, Francis Silos was incredible in his prayer life. He, he spent hours praying. He spent hours visiting the sick. Um, I think when you believe that much in God, I think when you have that deep of a relationship, which he did, you're not afraid to touch sickness. You're not afraid to touch um, things that can harm you. And that's what he did. He reached out during the yellow fever when no one else, when everyone was running the opposite direction, he went against the grain. He went against the current. People running away from sickness, running away from things that aren't, that aren't pleasant. So what do I think we can learn about Francis Silos? I think Francis Silos going against that grain, going against the current, he was not afraid to go out and touch the wounded world, which is what we're called to do, to touch those wounds. And it's in those wounds that we find like Thomas, we find the, the resurrected Christ, but only through touching those wounds.